The sights and smells were sometimes terrifying, but also beautiful. I remember my grandma's kitchen, cooking chakchuka. We moved out of her village when I was only 10 years old, but I'll never forget her hospitality. When I began school in my new village, I couldn't shake the feeling that someone or something was maybe watching me. The feeling of eyes on the back of your head. If you've ever felt it before, you know exactly what I mean. I was pretty normal for most of my childhood. That is, until my senior year of high school. I had basically grown used to the feeling of being watched. It was almost like an invisible friend who was always by side, even though they were creepy. But the point is I got used to it and so, I slacked off. I was dating a girl then who I really liked. But I'll be honest at the same time, I was dating someone else too. I know, it's bad. I just couldn't shake my love for two women at once and soon you see, it got the best of me. Something else Ivy never told anyone. My parents actually are related. In fact, they're brother sister. I know, but in our village, this wasn't totally uncommon. It will come into play later in the story. One day, I was with the girl I was dating and we were walking home. She had a sense that something was up because it turns out, she had read my text messages while I was sleeping. This was a huge violation of trust, but she did also uncover the truth. She fought me with words and ran away. As I chased her through our snowy village, the smells of couscous and harira, wafting through windows of the elderly women and families nearby, I started to get that feeling again of being watched. But instead of feeling creepy yet normalized, suddenly I felt chilled to the bone. I knew something was wrong. And suddenly, I realized I was alone in the woods from my pursuit. There was a panting noise behind me. A cold breath I could feel straight to my bones. When I turned around, I didn't see my familiar yet still scary village. I saw a monster I have struggled to describe ever since, but I will try now. Basically, the monster was human looking, but much more giant, and with pitch black eyes. There were wrinkles all across its bald head, and scary, almost fang-like teeth in its mouth. It got close enough to touch me with its chilling, bone wire fingers. But just then, I attacked it using skills I learned from fighting. The creature moaned brutally and quickly backed off. I can't believe I got out of there alive. I'm still panting as I write this tale. I know it's only a matter of time before the creature attacks me again. This time I know why I felt like I've been watched for so long and that the watchful feeling was not a friend.